I see these vows not as promises, but as privileges. Through the grace of the Lord, I get to be your husband. Proverbs 18.22 says, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord, and that favor is you. You are my good thing. You are my gift. As I stand here, I'm reminded of my responsibility to be a godly man, a godly husband. To be this, I must not do so under my own strength, but with the strength the Lord provides me. I pray he gives me the sight to see you, to hear what you need, and the wisdom to speak life into you. I thank God every day that he brought you into my life, and I get to stand here in front of our family and friends and declare my love. You challenged me to be a better man than I was yesterday, and I thank you for your patience and your love. You are the definition of Proverbs 31:29, as it says, Many women have done excellency, but you surpass them all. You truly are a blessing. You are my best friend, my love, my wife, but most importantly, my rib. Our love is perfect because we love the Lord. And now I get to pursue God with you. I love you. David, my love, my protector, and my best friend. I remember the first time we dated in 2016. I also remember the second time we dated in 2019 and the third and last time in 2021. You came back to me every two years. I think it's safe to say that you couldn't get enough of me. Never did I think we'd be here today. I couldn't tell you why it didn't work back then, but now I know it wasn't God's timing. Proverbs chapter three, verse five through six says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. For the last two years, I never stopped praying for you. Without expectancy, God answered my prayers. We stood obedient to the Lord and he has blessed me with you. Job chapter 36 verse 11 says, if they listen and serve him, they complete their days in prosperity and the years in pleasantness. I thank God every day for granting me access to you so early in life. Thank you for waiting for me. Thank you for being persistent in pursuing me, and thank you for listening to the Holy Spirit amongst all. I promise to earnestly love you, serve you, be kind and gentle to you. You always make me feel safe and secure. I will always be by your side, granting that same security and faithfulness to you. I promise to always armor you in prayer. I will care for you and follow you as you follow Christ. I will support you endlessly and trust your headship for our household. I truly love you deeply. As 1 Peter 4 verse 8 says, Above all, keep loving one another earnestly, since love covers a multitude of sins. Show hospitality to one another without grumbling. As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's very grace. I feel blessed that I get to spend every waking day of my life with you. Not only will you be by my side here, but I get to be with you eternally. My soon-to-be husband, my love, and my roommate. I love you eternally. By the authority of the state of New York and that of Almighty God, I pronounce you as husband and wife. What God hath joined together, let not be put aside. Yes, sir. What a wonderful woman you married. <laughs> Full of love, life, adventure, laughter, joy, intelligence, achievement, beauty, and above all, 
Everyone is obedient to the Lord. Gary words obedience. Ariel, you have been one of the, my the greatest one of my greatest treasures. My first shining star. I remember when you were a toddler and um, your dad and I were driving. So I was sitting in the back of the car and her father and I are talking and, and Ariel out of nowhere says, Shut up. So her dad turns around and says, What did you say? She goes, Buckle up. Ariel, you were always winning. You're a goal getter and you're a hard worker. But most importantly, you're a woman of God. You will always be my little girl. David, Proverbs 31 10 says, A wife of noble character who can find, she's worth far more than boobies. You heard that. Mm -hmm. You have, David. <laughs> I find you to be the perfect match for Ariana. You're calm, cool, collected. You're perfect balance for my daughter. You're a responsible, respectful, hard worker, and a good son. And I asked you one night, look at Ariana. Is this the face that you want to wake up for the rest of your life? <laughs> and you did not hesitate, you say yes. <laughs> You're a gentleman who show me who you really are when you call me to ask me for my blessing to marry Ariella. Mm -hmm. David, I'm so happy to welcome you into my family. Just a little more. <laughs> This, uh, why does this marriage makes me very happy? It makes me very happy because the Lord has established His throne in the heavens and His kingdom rules over all. Amen. We serve a sovereign God. And this is not by coincidence. He brought the two of you together. And He answered another of my prayers. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is a godly couple and that's enough to make me happy. Mm -hmm. That's makes me very happy about this marriage. With that said, words of wisdom. Continue submitting yourselves to Christ. Seek after God's purposes, not your own. When couples love God first, they love each other better. Mm -hmm. John 15, 12 says, my, com I, my command is this, love each other as I have loved you. So, I love you guys. Thank you. I'm very happy. Welcome everyone to join. <laughs> Say thank you for all of you for coming and, and sharing this time with us. And uh, I would just like to say uh, to David and Ariel, well, first of all, to Dave, I'm very proud of you. You turned out to be a very fine young man. And uh, I'm glad that you found someone as wonderful as Ariel. And I would just like to share with you, uh, I believe it's in Philippians where Paul says, that your love may abound. And to me, that spoke that your love may abound towards one another. But more importantly, that your love may abound towards the Lord. Um, my, my hope and my desire for you both, as a young married couple, I hope that you will pursue after the Lord. Amen. As believers in the Lord, like I shared with David a while back, the Lord only has one requirement of us, and He requires that we love Him. So my prayer for you, for both of you, is that day by day, you may grow in your love for each other, but more importantly, for your love to the Lord. Amen. Because as you love Him, he will supply you mm. in all your needs. Mm -hmm. Because in married life, you will have times when you need the supply. Mm -hmm. And the Lord will be your supply mm. if you love Him. Mm -hmm. So my desire for both of you is that you pursue the Lord. I'm so glad that you both believe in the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's not a small thing. Mm -hmm. So may your love abound. Mm -hmm. towards one another and to the Lord. Mm -hmm.
Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Hey, everyone. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dan, and I am Dave's older brother and best man. And as his, old, as his older brother today, I can say that I'm the proudest brother on earth. So I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I really can't imagine my life without my brother Dave. Mm -hmm. You know, people tend to talk about having a partner in crime, which is often poked fun at and even said to be corny a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I'm actually fortunate enough to say that my brother was mine. Mm -hmm. We did everything together. We laughed together. We cried together. We traveled the world together. And we just lived our lives together. You know, as we get older and live our separate lives now, I'll always be reminded of those days when we were younger. You know, we never had any brother, any brother to brother fights, but we did have many, many 5 a.m. nights. <laughs> and yes, I made that rhyme on purpose. <laughs> Ariella, and now I pass this torch on to you. <laughs> now he's your partner in crime. Uh -huh. To laugh together, cry together, travel the world together, and just live life together. But always remember to take care of each other. To listen to each other, respect each other, and most of all, love each other unconditionally. Mm -hmm. You know, before I wrap this up, one more thing about my brother Dave and I, and amongst our closest friends, which there are a few here tonight, um, is that we love quoting movies and TV shows. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and in our normal day to day conversations, and it's, that's no joke, just ask Amy. Yeah, I was looking for Amy. <laughs> so I'm going to end this toast with one of my favorite cinematic quotes. So if everyone can raise their glass of whatever you guys are drinking, water, wine, beer, soda. So Dave and Ariella, may the wind always be at your back, and sun upon your face. <laughs> And may the wings of destiny carry you along to dance with the stars. Cheers. Cheers. We thank you for this unity, Lord. You say where there's two or three gathering in your name, you are here, Father God, Lord. But we thank you for this day. We thank you that you safely brought everyone here, Father God, safely, Father God. And we thank you for all this family that's here tonight, Lord, that traveled them from different states, Father God. We thank you for every family, Lord, that it really took a village to bring this wedding together, Lord. And so I ask that you bless each member here tonight, Father God, Lord. And just as you brought them safely here tonight, I pray that you also bring them, Father Lord, safely back home, Father God, Lord. We ask that you bless tonight's food, Lord. May it be of good nutrition and nurture to our bodies, Father. We ask that you bless this business the owners, every worker in here, Father God, Lord. We ask that you bless Ariella and David, Lord, that you provide for them financially, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and in every way, Father. And as that tonight, Lord, um, as we are all witness of their love, Father, may inspire us, Lord, to seek you more um, in our families, Father God, Lord. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. <laughs> Uh, we're just doing a little video to uh, show our heartfelt journey. So.